Hello everyone, I am Deepak Nial and I welcome you to the series of C++ tutorials. So if you remember our previous lecture, we have discussed the data hiding or information hiding concept. Now we are going to understand next feature of the object oriented programming in a practical way. So let us discuss those features first. If you by chance forgotten them, we can again talk about them and here you can see we have encapsulation first that provide our hiding of data and or information hiding second thing it's a data abstraction and this concept we are going to discuss in this lecture there are two more and we are not going to discuss them here because they have dedicated chapters that will come later but let us discuss data abstraction now so when we are talking about data abstraction it means hiding the complexity from user right if we take the car analogy again go to three or four lectures uh, behind and remember that if you haven't seen that car analogy again uh, try to revisit it so if you have a car and you press pedals right and ask car to go faster or you accelerate the car right so what is the what is the main thing here when you are trying to accelerate the car and press the pedal we don't know what is happening in the background or what is background process do you know that I don't think you know if you are a mechanic or car engineer mechanical engineer maybe then you might be aware about the process but a general user don't know about these things right a more general example if you have uh, if you are doing some shopping from the Flipkart or Amazon maybe or sending a message on WhatsApp or using Paytm to uh, buy some grocery or whatever uh, you are trying to do so there is a payment button right pay some more maybe 10k so whenever you press this button do you know what happens uh, behind the scenes do you know about all the networking things do you know or about all the codes that has been written by the developer I don't think so that you know all these things right so basically those things are hidden from you right and that is called data abstraction so let us try to understand this example using some code right this is concept is very basic but uh, we can't do a lot of code to understand this but we'll uh, take some basic examples and understand the basic thing behind it right so here we have a previous example I will remove all these things one thing you, you should also remember that when you are talking about data hiding or data abstraction there is a basic difference when you are talking about data hiding we are talking about variables generally or data members because the data methods are generally public right so take it like this uh, maybe age I want to take or let us take course name right this is some variable now I am taking a function for this and that function is doing just displaying the message or displaying course name nothing else so how is it going to display the course name it could be C out and it could write the course name is and we can say that it's course name variable here and then end here right what you have to do we have to call this display course name function from here and try to run this program first then we'll come to our concept g plus plus data abstraction and everything is fine so what is the problem here we have not assigned anything to this course name what you can do you can do gb.set 
course name and assign some variable here or assign some value here so set course name it is cpp white set course name and make it course name and as these values are same this and this so what i am going to do this dot sorry this arrow course name equal to course name right now try to compile it again there is again error because i have not mentioned a string here these are small mistakes we have to avoid it i am making it again and again but please avoid it and this course name is c++ right so as a user if i hide this from you right can you see what you are seeing you are just seeing that we have uh, you have compiled a program data abstraction and then you can see that you have just uh, this output right most of the time you see output right whenever you run a program if you are not a developer so the course name is c++ now try to make one change and see the difference in output I am again hiding it there is this thing that I need to change this was the this was a last output right now try to compile it again see the output here and see the output here can you find out any difference no the both the outputs are exactly same so by looking at these outputs can you tell me that uh, user has made or developer has made some changes in the code no right you will not be able to tell the difference that user has or developer has made any changes in the code right so this is the benefit of data abstraction actually developer is hiding a lot of things from you and you are not able to tell the difference so what is what is the exact benefit of this thing what could happen tomorrow the developer might think that we need to change this course name and want to change a lot of practical implementation inside this and also i want to change this right you can see there are a lot of changes right we have made now again try to compile this program And see the output again there is no difference so this data abstraction actually hides the complexity from user and uh, enables the developer to make a lot of changes without involving user right as a user a developer do not want to confuse you right if you see the whatsapp or facebook or any other website or app most of the time you don't see much differences but it doesn't mean that their differences are not happening on on the background right developers are constantly making some changes constantly trying to debug the application constantly trying to push some new new code right but you don't see the much difference right because as a user if you if you are able to see those changes you will be confused and if you know and on the other side if if you try to or if you know this uh, implementation of the code on the background you might try to hack the system right if you know the way system works you can try to hack the system so that's why these details are hidden from you and most of the details are not not known to the users right so i hope uh, through this lecture you would have understand the basic concept of data abstraction and that too in very detail so i think this is enough for this lecture if you like this tutorial please like the video share it with your friends and comment your doubts i will just respond back thank you so much